guys, check out the Proline Black Mambas on the Vitavon B Locks on Thor. <laughs> guys, let's get to the table so I can show you this setup, and outside we go. Let's get to the table. Here is Thor. Look at that J Concepts F250 tucked body. Look at this. Still has the $60 transmission from Amazon with the dig and all that. Uh, little reedy servo. Doesn't need a whole lot. Um, yeah, lots of Vitavon. Spare time hobbies, chassis. Look at these guys right here. Look at how awesome these things are. Four wheel steering, all that wonderful stuff. We got Holmes SV, SHV 800 servos, front and back. Vitavon portal rift housings. Trax has GTR shocks. We got Vitavon uh, leading and trailing arms. These are the trailing arms for the Rift. Uh, the front is the same way, same setup. Got a Crawlmaster Mini, which might get stressed out a little bit here. Got to be careful with that. It has a 2200 KV revolver. Yeah. So this thing right here is ready to go on a 3S Helios battery. And uh, you know what? We are about to go see if these mambas can crawl let's go we're going to start this out with a little crawl because i want to see what thor can do with these things um it's going to be interesting here and then we're going to move on to some dirt hopefully the esc takes it so far so good i'm impressed there we go Actually, that didn't even spin a tire. Impressive. We're going to have to try some of those sideways lines with these things, too. Well, let's see what we got here coming down. Actually, i got to tell you, they look way better on Thor than I thought. <laughs> I mean, really. Ooh. Keep forgetting Thor's got dig. Look at that. Beautiful. Ha <laughs> ha. Heck yeah. This thing is turning on really nice. I mean, heck, uh, you know, these may actually be a decent crawler tire, maybe, for a vehicle like this. I don't know. We'll have to find out. Let's see what we got here. Now, Thor goes real high on Crack of Doom. And I'm coming in from the other side, so I'm already kind of higher than usual. Now, I am getting some tire roll right here. They do have the stock Proline foams and all that. So, man, this thing looks spectacular with these tires. I mean, like, legit. That's a really big... Let's see if I can get that back in to come down a little bit okay very nice gotta get that front to come back up without letting the back fall too far here it goes there we go get that front to settle down there we are I am impressed these tires are looking up way better than I thought they would that's awesome Look at the lugs right there. That's awesome. Now, I probably should have put these on. So I'm going backwards here. I probably should have did these backwards so I don't tear up these forward lugs. I'm not going to make that turn there, am I? There we go. Got it. Yeah, see, now these... I know everybody likes to run them backwards and saying they're better. See that edge right there? That's your forward edge. Look at the back of these things. See how they're rolled? So this is your forward. This is your back. But anyway, that's RC, right? Now we're gonna take this thing down right over here and we're gonna go try Thor out. Oh, that is seriously steep. Check that out. We're going to the dirt. Now, if anything's gonna pop this ESC, it's gonna be this. Now, obviously I don't have the wheel speed of the Rift, but uh, 
we'll have to see how they work out here. I'll be surprised. Oh, yeah, I gotta watch that ESC. I guarantee you. If I don't watch it, if I don't watch it, I'll pop it. If I had more wheel speed on this, I'd be able to get that. Here we go. Now, this has a 2200 kV motor in it, you know, so. And even though it's got the Crawlmaster Mini, which is kind of a quiet ESC, when these outrunners get spinning up like this, you know, they just inherently make noise on that. Nice, nice. Now we have a pretty serious down up here. Let's see if I can ride the ridge just a little bit and bring this thing down safely. Let's just shift it into front wheel steer only here. Let's see what we got here on this thing. Everybody quiet. The shot's gotta be perfect. Look at that. <laughs> if you saw what I did, comment down below. I'm not gonna tell you, but if you saw what I did there, comment. I want to read it. I want to see who got that. As far as getting back up it, well, that's just not going to happen. I don't have the wheel speed for that. But maybe I can pop a wheelie at least, right? <laughs> I did. <laughs> Thor got a wheelie. We're going for climb time sideways. Thor is the only one that can usually successfully get it. Come on. Wow. All right, that took a little more work than what I had planned on. Now let's see what we've got here. I'm just gonna let this thing crawl right on around. And when I get this thing set up about right here, I'm gonna get back into four wheel steer and hopefully pivot this thing around while keeping that front right tire lugged up and caught. It is barely on that. There we go. Got it. Sideways on ridge line. This is one of Thor's signature moves right here, guys. Partly because Thor is so wide. I'm coming in a little bit on the wrong side here. Usually I'm up a little bit higher than that. And it may actually work out better here. We're going to go back to four wheel steering. A little bit of crab to keep that backside down and around. All right, that back end is pulling really good. Wow. <laughs> wow. Little crab steering for you. Heck yeah. Just for the heck of it, after all that, we're going to try to put Thor up. And yes, I'm driving Thor backwards, and the rear steer is reversed, so it's just like driving forwards. I don't want to tear the biting edges off the fronts of the tires. So, it does not look like we're going to get much attention here. Let's see here if I can get past. <laughs> no, we are not going to the top of this, are we? Well, it survived and did pretty darn good. Um, going up the ramp, I definitely did that backwards because I, did, I didn't want to take off the front of these. And that's a, yeah, it's abusive enough. It's abrasive enough that it will actually take off the edges of your tires. So did that backwards. And I don't think it would have changed out of the way. Um, made it across Cracker Doom. Uh, sideways on climb time. 
sideways on ridge line. So yeah, now the dirt, I did not abuse it too much on the dirt. If you're gonna hold it full throttle, under load, the ESC, there's no heat sink on that. So you gotta be careful. And I guess I got a little bit lucky here because uh, the ESC is perfectly fine. Um, pulling a 10 and a half pound truck up dirt like that on 2.6s, you know, it's a bit, that's a little bit much for that ESC, but luckily it's geared and done it correctly. Ah, it survived. Anyway, guys, in that description, I'll link up all kinds of stuff down below for this monster beast right here. So make sure you check that out. Guys, check that description. Use those links. Make sure you subscribe, give it a big thumbs up, and thank you all for watching. Hey, guys, if you're still watching and you're hearing this message, you are absolutely awesome. I want to tell you guys, you are the cream of the crop. Um, also, if you're listening this far, well, you know, if you want to help directly support ExoCaged RC, got the channel memberships. $2, $5, $10, and $25. You get early viewing, and sometimes I get to put up a little extra footage for you guys. So guys, check that description, and thank you so much.